Hi everyone, welcome to Catherine's Plate. I'm Catherine. I have my husband here, Thomas, with the Rational Reviewer. Together we do Trader Joe's hauls for you. All right, today is our first haul of 2019. So what we did was just got some stuff for the pantry, things for the freezer, and then we got some fresh stuff also. And some maybe some fun things that he's gonna try for you. All right y'all, so we're gonna get started. Coffee. Coffee. This is actually from my daughter. Uh, she gets the. Uh, she likes the Trader Joe's dark roast. Um, so I had to pick her up some more because I know she was running a little low, and I don't want her getting into my stuff. So uh, we're definitely going to have to uh, watch her levels of coffee. All right, next we picked up our Trader Joe's eggs. I love these eggs. I don't know why. They just cook up really well. So we always got to get that. Yeah. All right, so um, we picked up this veggie and greens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a salad mix. All right, I'm going to tell you all what's in it. It's crisp and crunchy blend of veggies, including cauliflower and Brussels sprouts with radicchio, kale, dried pear crumbles, pistachios, and a honey ginger dressing. That Doesn't that sound ridiculous. good? It sounds ridiculous, ridiculous. right? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. <laughs> well, we're gonna find out today. <laughs> this is this is lunch. Oh man. Yes. I yes. was kind of hoping this would be lunch. <laughs> got mini beef tacos. I'm from the freezer, but I have a feeling those won't last very long with the kids. <laughs> or this kid right here. I'm going to have to get some of these if you expect me to have any at all. I mean, come on. Peppers. Mini peppers. He loves them. I love them. I made the mistake of giving my daughter one. <laughs> gone. Gone. Whole pack. Gone. Go. Big. All right, so these mini beef, these are mini beef tacos. There's one pound of mini beef tacos in here. And I'll be lucky to get like one. You'll <laughs> get one. What else again? And see, and then we go buy mac and cheese for the kids, and they eat my food. <laughs> and then when my food's gone, then they come for the mac and cheese. <laughs> that is not good. Ah. He gets it. All right, so we got our ever famous corn. Love it. Super sweet cut white corn. Oh, this is our favorite. Mm, this is for our freezer. If it lasts that long. If it makes it in there. If it makes it in there. All right, and then um, I've got this fettuccine alfredo for the freezer. My son's favorite. Mm, he'll eat the whole pack. Yeah. He comes home and he roots around in the freezer, refrigerator, and finds something that he can eat. And he'll, he doesn't care. <laughs> he really doesn't. If it's noodles. Yeah, especially if it's noodles and it has cheese sauce on it, he's there for you. He'll and then he'll it. grate some more cheese on top of that. All right, so I got some taco shells. Because when we have taco night, they like the soft tacos. Soft tacos rule. I like crunchy tacos. <laughs> no. I've never tried, tried the Trader Joe's taco shells, so um, I'm going to try them. We'll let you know how they are. They wide? Doesn't I don't, really doesn't so. say they're wide. Alright, so I got some shaved Brussels sprouts here. I'm looking to do a... <laughs> You're killing me. I'm killing them with this fresh stuff. It's a stir fry. Right. It's going to be in a stir fry, but shaved Brussels sprouts. So I wanted to try that and see if it changes the taste a little bit, makes it better. Well, it'll change the taste. It'll change the taste. <laughs> All Yay. right, I'm gonna throw his green beans away. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> as long as you throw them away in a pan with bacon and onions, I'm happy. Yep, and chicken broth. Boil them down for a couple of hours. Oh my gosh, they are really good. I'll eat that whole bag. <laughs> see, I ate my veggies. As long as they're with bacon. Yeah. <laughs> but I, you know, always have to get some other things for them. All right, so we're grilling out. Those. We're grilling out this weekend hamburgers, and I picked up. Well, he picked up these. I, I'm surprised. I did. I picked those up. 
So these are root vegetable french fries. They are uh, carrots, beets, parsnips, and sweet potatoes. See, so healthy. Really healthy. That's for him. These are for me. <laughs> and the kids, tater tots. Grilling out burgers this weekend. <laughs> we're grilling out burgers this weekend, so we're pretty excited about that. All right, y'all, this is our table one. We're going to put this stuff up. We wanted to get the refrigerator and, re and the frozen stuff put up so we can start our next uh, load there. So we'll be right back. All right, y'all, we are back with part two. So we'll start down here with, we always have to have pasta in our pantry. So I got some rigatoni here. Because mm. the boy eats it all. He does it all. We eat it. Let's make meals with it. Oh, this What's is that? our favorite right here. Papadella, pap papardella pasta. Oh my gosh, this is so good, especially with a, um, a meat sauce. Mm -hmm. mm, right? That's really delicious. Good. And then we needed some more pasta sauce, so I got the tomato basil marinara sauce. Yeah, that's good too. Because it's always good to have this stuff on hand for a quick spaghetti mm -hmm. meal. Mm -hmm. All right, what you got? Anything? Well, I got rolled corn tortilla chips, chili and lime flavored. Right. You gonna try these? Yeah, I think I'll try those. All I've right. never had them. The cashier, when he saw this bag, he said they are so good. So, mmm, that smells good. Hmm. They're rolled. Ooh. I don't know if y'all can see that. Are they going to be too spicy for me? Am I holding yours right here? <laughs> Probably. I don't like a lot of spice, so. There's a lot of lime in that, too. Oh, is there a lot of lime? All right. It Ooh. all hits at once. And it does. I mean, it's like, boom. Fades away. All right. They're good. They're good. I There's, mean, that's I, really good. I couldn't eat a lot of them at once because that flavor is so headstrong at the beginning. But I can definitely tell, taste the chili in them, though. I oh, can yeah. definitely test, taste the chili. It's, it's good. Lime. It's not like it's like I can't eat it. So you get the head of chili first, and then you get the lime. Mm -hmm. My favorite chips there are these blue corn tortilla chips. They're in the cup shape. Mm, those are good. I like to pair this with the fresh pico they have there. That's mine. Now, yes, no. in this house. That one's mine. That one's yours. Oh, mild hot. <laughs> hot rules. Hot rules. Mild rules. I yeah. eat this on everything. When I make eggs, oh, I love to put this on there. And on our tacos, anything. Mm. Sandwiches. So that's really good right there. Put it in the cereal. No. His favorite chip also, he likes to use these right here, restaurant style. Yep. These are white corn tortilla chips. So he likes the restaurant style ones. Yeah, these are hard to eat. I mean, you look at them, they're like a little bowl. Oh, no, I don't have any problems eating those. Oh, and they're so light. These are really thin. So I like really these better. All right. We got some brioche buns. For the burgers. Four in a pack here. This is for our hamburgers that he's going to be grilling this weekend. Yay. I'm so excited. I love the grilled, charcoal grilled hamburgers. Oh, my gosh. They beat everything. All I right. need beer. You need beer? I need beer. He needs a beer. He needs beer. He's out of beer. You can't grill without beer. I'm sorry. We were just there. <laughs> All right. We got our dog her little treats. Chicken and cranberry bites. She loves these. And she really loves these right here. These crunchy turkey and cranberry dog treats. So, yep. We got chicken, cranberry, and turkey cranberry. <laughs> She'll be really happy. Yeah, she's a yard bird. Baby. She is. Oh my gosh, she is. All right, we got some relish here. I was going to do a recipe, and then I realized I didn't have any relish. I am going to be making a, it's kind of like a Sam, a Sam, 
ham salad. There you go. I tried to put both words together. With the essence. A the ham meat. salad. So we have an extra ham that we had gotten for Christmas, and I'm going to just kind of like cook it up and um, chop it up really fine, and use some pickles and mayonnaise and other stuff, and make we. We tried ham salad up north when we yeah. visited your family, and we really yeah. liked it, but I'm just trying to figure out what to do with that extra ham that I had in my freezer, so that's what I'm going to do with it. It must be a northern thing, because I've not seen anything like it yeah, down, down there. So, I'm probably going to do a recipe on that, y'all, so stay tuned for that. The chicken sausage. Mm -hmm. Sweet apple chicken sausage. I can put those on the grill, too. Yeah. Oh, that'd be make really good on the grill. Just go ahead and throw those on the grill. I had a plan for them, but that sounds good. So we'll do that. We're going to grill these. <laughs> Same time we got the hamburgers out there. Yep. <clears throat> Might as well. Might as well. All right. We got two things left. We've got caramel popcorn. Now, I haven't seen these before. Um, Nancy Rounds. Her channel, she was doing a Trader Joe's haul recently and she tried these. She actually opened the bag and tried them and liked them. So I'm like, okay, that's good enough for me. So I'm going to have, we're going to do a second taste test here and see if you like them. See what you think about them. It looks more like a cheese than a caramel. Oh, it smells like caramel. It does. You know, like when you open up that can of popcorn at Christmas time that has the three different flavors? Yeah. That's what that smells like. But right it doesn't there. look like it, though. You gotta try one? You gotta try one for me. Oh, man. I'll probably be eating these. That is uh, mm. really good. Yes, that's exactly what that tastes like. That's really good. That is good. Mm -hmm. You would think that you would have a hard time tasting the caramel, but you don't. No. And it's a nice light popcorn, too. Mm hmm. It's not mushy. It's not mushy, and the caramel doesn't kind of like stick to your teeth or anything. It's really good. Not yeah. Very light. I don't know if you can see it from there. Very light and kind of like a light crispy. It's really good, though. Nice and flavorful. I like it. All right. <clears throat> Keep that away from me. I can eat that whole bag. <laughs> All right, we got one more thing. We've never seen this before. Now, we've seen the Kringles that they've had there and the, the Danishes, like the six Danishes that come in a pack. But we've not seen like a one pastry here. So I'm going to show this to you all. Okay, so when I say one, it's just like one big pastry here. So Thomas is going to try this for you all and let you all know what he thinks about it. All right. We'll move you back a little bit. Oh, well, thank you. See, so you can dig in. <laughs> I'm probably going to need a knife. That's funny. <laughs> when have you ever known me not to have a knife? I'm watching you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching you. I get so involved in the hall, he does some weird things over here, so i got to watch him. Wow. Does it smell like almond? <laughs> yeah, it smells like they used the almond extract in it. That smells good. Oh my gosh. Mm. Do you want a regular knife for that? Why? What's wrong with this one? <laughs> we could do a regular knife. Put your toy away. Here. <laughs> I don't want that comment on my... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, smell that. You can smell the extra. Yeah, you can smell the extra. All right, that's so really strong almond. I'm gonna put it up there for y'all to see the powdered sugar, the sliced almonds in here. Do you need a cup of coffee with that? You're definitely gonna need something to drink with it. Is it kind of dry? Kind of. Well, I think that you should heat this up. <laughs> you should heat this up and have it with a cup of coffee. I think if you heated this up, put some butter on it, and slather. A uh, stick of butter on there. Um, mm, that sounds good. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. Then maybe you won't need as much to drink with it. But as of right there, it's really dry. Pretty dry. All right. So that's our review on the 
almond Danish pastry. <laughs> and somebody needs to maybe lighten up on the almond extract. A little bit too much. Oh boy. All right, y'all. <laughs> That was our haul today, our very first haul of 2019, and um, we are, we're always excited to go to Trader Joe's. Um, but, you know, we've been going like every two weeks. <laughs> All right, y'all. So, I'm Catherine with Catherine's Plate. Thomas with The Rational Reviewer. Check out his shows. We do Trader Joe's hauls together. All right, comment down below, give me a thumbs up, and if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with the bell notification so you're always notified when our shows come out. All right, y'all, we will see you on our next shows. Bye.